What's up YouTube? 2019, we're kicking it off. First video of the year. Long time no see, had a lot going on. You'll get to see it, experience that. We had a move. New place, new everything. New start, new lane. Um, tonight we're gonna do bagel and lox. I don't eat salmon personally. I prefer tuna. Nikki eats salmon, she's gonna be our taste tester for this. Also, hey, we got mail. So we're gonna be doing that for you. Hang with us for a minute. We'll be right back and get it rolling. All right, YouTube, we're back. The salmon bagels and lox that we're doing today. The salmon is sockeye. It comes from Alaska. Somebody near and dear to my heart brought this back to us. Um, not gonna say her name on here. She might not want it on here. But we're gonna give it a try, and this is authentic sockeye. Brought back from Alaska. Taku, Taku. Wild Alaskan Seafood Company. Okay, we got that opened up. to try to handle it. make a video and we're back see that didn't take too long did it we're gonna start off with the bottom half of the bagel cream cheese mixture all we have in here is cream cheese then a bit of lemon juice garlic and fresh chives chopped up we're gonna smear that on both halves of our bagel Bottom half. And we'll spread a little bit on the top half. Nobody likes really dry bread, anyways, do they? Especially not here in Alabama, where we normally put mayonnaise on everything. All right. With that being said, on top of the cream cheese, we're going to go with a little bit of diced up, sliced thinly red onion. Throw it up for your taste. I'm not going to put a ton because I know Miss Nikki is not a huge, huge red onion fan. She don't like the smell. I don't eat capers. Nikki don't like capers. We substitute our capers with black olives. Boy, you talk about good eating right there. I can eat this whole bowl full of black olives just by itself. Nikki's in the background motioning more, more, more. I know, I know, Dad. I know, Dad. All right. Black olives on there. And we're going to go back to our salmon. She made a comment on break about how good the salmon smelling. So let's hope she enjoys it as much as her nose does. 
We're gonna hook her up. No, yes. No, yes, no. I'm gonna try to save her enough too. In case she wants another one. Alright, we're gonna call that good on that one. Thinly sliced fresh tomato on top. Sprinkle her a little bit of ground black pepper. Tomato. So next one here we got uh, some Himalayan pink salt. I don't eat salt. Again, Nikki's a salt freak. Katie bug in the background says she wants M&M's. Apparently she don't want no salmon either. That's all I'm gonna go on that. Let her salt the rest if she wants more salt. And we're we'll gonna top this off with a little squeeze. Lemon. Mommy, I want some lemon There we have it. We'll be right back. We'll cut it in half and video a taste test. Thank you. Alright, here we go. We've got the bagel. Already cut it. Nikki took care of Cadence's M&M's. And give us a taste test, Nick. Let us know what you think about bagel and lox. Tastes like fish sandwich. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's very good. Do we need to call Alaska and order some more? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there you Sorry. have it. It's Nikki approved. <laughs> Maybe we'll try one in the future with some fresh tuna on it. I'll give that a try. I just don't like salmon. Alright, we'll be back in a minute and we'll, I'll get to that mail call and see what we got from there. Alright, we had to come back in. We had to show you who the little girl one of M&M's was. This is Miss Cadence. She is our little pride and joy of princess, the queen of the house. Whose house is this? Is this your house? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You like making videos? No, it's your turn. It's my turn. Say hey YouTube. Hi YouTube. Alright. We're gonna get down to each M&M's. We're gonna finish. We're gonna do a mail call, okay? My, my YouTube. Okay. My YouTube. <laughs> and we're back, YouTube. Alright, we're gonna do this mail call. Today's mail comes from Baker Creek Seed Company. We have a few seeds we're gonna be trying to grow this year. We may succeed and we may fail. We're going to give it a try. This first one we're going to grow is going to be grown in our flower beds. This is a hollyhock, jet black hollyhocks. We'll give them a try. We've got some plants for the front flower beds in the house. That's where that'll be going. This one is a Spanish mammoth pepper. We're going to be giving them a grow. This next one is a poblano pepper. Heirloom, give that a go. We will see a lot of peppers. 
Peppa Free. You okay, beautiful? <laughs> this next one is uh, gourds, loaf of gourds. Saw some videos, living home, uh, living traditions, grew some. I uh, was really interested. I'd like to check it out. We're going to give her a grow. This next one is orange spice jalapeno. Say you will see a lot of peppers. This one here, I watched them grow these on uh, Deep South Homestead. I know Danny and Wanda really caught my eye. I like the way they grow. I hate picking okra. It always makes me itch. These plants look like you pick them without itching so much. These are Star David okra. Next one is uh, pork chop, yellow, and tiger chop tomato. I'm gonna be giving them a grow. We like tomatoes too. We're from Alabama. We like tomato sandwiches. This is a solar flare tomato, wild boar farms. We'll give that a try. Mr. CB, if you know anything about these tomatoes, be sure to give me a holler and let me know. I'll take all the advice I can get. I don't mess them up. This is a paprika pepper. I want to grow paprika and try to dry them out, grind them down, make my own paprika powder. Uh, Living Traditions grows a paprika pepper. I can't find the seed. I think they got them at Baker Creek, but I didn't see them in the catalog or, or online, so I don't know how to get my hands on those. This one is a Venisage Art Colors Mix Tomatoes. I'm going to be giving them a whirl. These are the Rebecca Allen, very beefy looking tomato. It's like it make, might make a good sandwich and you got to deal with all the tomato, uh, seeds and stuff in there. It's very few. This one These are a Cherry Roma Tiger Mix. I have a very colorful garden this year, hopefully. This is a mini bell pepper, mixed colors. Another pack of the hollyhocks. Didn't think I ordered two packs of those, apparently I did. Maybe I might have something in the store I can do with those. It's like there's three packs in here. Mirror Baker Creek one made a mess up. I would definitely do something with these. Any of y'all interested in them, comment on this video, let me know. Might do a giveaway or something for them. This one, I grew growing up with my grandmother. It means a lot to me. Got a lot of Indian blood in my family. And uh, so I really wanted to grow these. I'm looking forward to this more than anything. This is my Wade's Giant Indian Corn. Can't wait to grow that. These last three are some that here's Baker Creek. It says I spent enough money they give me some free stuff. So we have a free gift, a lipstick pepper. Not quite sure, but we're going to give her a whirl. See what she has to offer. This one is a free gift bee balm lemon. Hmm. I'm going to give her a whirl too. See what it does. I'm going to have to read up on these. And this one is an amarillo carrot. Pretty good, but I did not order any carrots. 
And we will give these a try. These will be the carrots we grow this year. And I'll come up with a couple more. We'll throw in the ground too. With all that being said, I'm going to eventually, sometime, hopefully, it'll stop raining. Kind of like Dan down there at home in the sticks. It's been raining here. Feels like for a month. But uh, we have a new place, new piece of land. We're going to have to develop new gardens. Um, we're going to have some terrace beds. It's going to be some new designs going on. A uh, lot of raised gardens with this yard in the back, the land in the back that we got. Uh, Mr. O.A.G. Charleston, old Alabama gardener. He stopped by and saw me. He brought me some uh, comfrey. We'll be growing that this year also. So, plus, quite a few other things. I still got to put in another order or two. Nikki don't like it. She keeps flipping her light off and on over here. Over here. But uh, other than that, we're going to end this video um, on a good note. And that good note being is, I am holding strong at 46 subscribers. Like, share, add this video, tell your friends, spread the word. Four more subscribers. I have a good giveaway going to happen at 50 subscribers. I'd like to see some of y'all get in. I know Dan at Home in the Sticks going to want to get his hand in. Hopefully try to win some of this. Uh, he likes this hot stuff too. There's a couple hot things, a couple sweet things, and uh, there's a cookbook involved. Um, I'm going to give away to three different people, top three, one, two, and three. Um, going to try to keep it as equal as I can on the gifts, but uh, the gifts are a little different for each one, so. except for the cookbook. The cookbook's the same. But I appreciate all 46 subscribers I got. Y'all got me this far and held in there with me. Uh, there's going to be a lot of videos. I plan on trying to do two, three videos minimum. A week. Um, if it stops raining, we can get outside and play. But if not, like I say I do have a new house, so you're gonna get to see me uh, set my garage up, build a workbench. I'm gonna do it all from cooking, gardening, building, and uh, I'll do a little bit of crafts and arts here and there. Uh, man, Nikki got some plans. Got a few things we're gonna try there. But thank you for hanging out with us today. And hope you all had a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Let's roll 2019. Roll tight.